This is who he was in a relationship with last week. Last week he was in a relationship. Actually, with... it was in it was on September first. But if you look at that picture, like right there, what is that? That's thirteen likes. Th that, th no, not not the likes. Dunder Mifflin. Uh, no, I'm talking about Wiggins. There's him holding. Bro. Well, clearly she moved on from Mr. Wiggins here, and uh, found this gentleman who seems very excited about that. Oh wait! Oh my bad. They're married. Uh oh. Is this a striptease? But they was kicking ass. The Celtics? Yeah. Yo, you know what I hate though? So like I'm on plenty of fish, right? And like I'm not looking, but I'm looking and like, dude, so like it's this, oh my goodness, bro. I look at the picture. Thick ass female. Oh my goodness. That's what I was looking for. Thick ass female, fat ass, decent sized titties. I can work with that all day. Bro. I hit this chick up, she gives me a Google account. No, she gives me a Google email address. And I'm just like, I feel like I know where this is going, but let me not be that dude to jump the gun and then fucking wind up being an actual bro. She sends me this link after she's given me the story about she's, how she's afraid that I'm some sort of like creeper or some shit. And I'm sitting there like, I, I cool. I've heard this already a million times. She sends me a link with some pictures in it, right? It's like this skinny ass female, no boobs, little bit of ass. And I'm like, bro, this is not what the fuck I signed up for. I signed up for this voluptuous ass bitch, bro. He's actually a 14 year old Asian boy. I was just like, nope, thank you, have a good day. I said, as soon as she sent me those pictures, I was just like, bro. You look at the picture that I was looking at compared to the picture she sent, and it's like not even two completely different people. It's like three completely different people, bro. And it's just like, no, like the pictures, one of them was a skinny ass chick. She had fucking like brown hair. The other one was like the skinny ass chick, same build, but she had fucking blonde hair. But you look at the facial features, None of it matched, and I'm just in here like, why, bro? Why, like, what the fuck do people get out of skimming? Like, like I get there are those rich dudes who like just want the attention and stuff like that, but at the same time, it's just like, what the fuck are you guys doing, bro? Like, at least be consistent with your shit, dude. Like, none of the pictures match the account of the person I hit up, and I'm just like, hey, all right, no more. Boom, put the phone down. They started, went back to work. That shit was just mad and fucking annoying, cause like, it's like, bro, you're not even the fuck, like, my whole thing was, you're not the same fucking person that I was hitting up. Nowhere close to it. Why am I hitting you up then? Like, why are you fucking catfishing people hardcore? That's what she was doing. She was catfishing motherfuckers, bro. Applebee. You know what I think is crazy? How like people go to Applebee's after they see those like, oh my God, I found a fucking dead mouse in my fucking food. We actually went right by a Chinese restaurant where it got shut down because they were putting deer carcass, like somebody had hit a deer, I think, and they dragged the deer into the restaurant. Somebody saw that and they got shut down but for you, many years. I mean, you can eat deer, it's just. Yeah, but they were putting it as like uh, the beef or whatever. Yeah, no. I mean, the comparison is great. We exactly. went, Gary, yeah. myself, and uh, one of the actors we we have shot some things with, we decided to go to Cathay Pacific in Quincy, and he ordered a, I think it might have been a scorpion bowl. Do they put those in just regular cups, or is it always in a weird fucking funny... It, it's in that, funny yeah, record. it's in that weird circular thing, yeah. Okay, well then, it, I, I think I think he got something uh, with a similar flamboyant name, right? FaceTime, baby. <laughs> and um, 
what what wound up happening was it was fucking it was fucking mouse blood, bro. No, there was no mouse blood. He had the cup and it was like a mug. And the cup started dribbling out through the bottom. And there was a hole in the bottom of the cup. And there was like a little bit of bubble gum that was sealing it up on the bottom. And Gary complained to this woman. And she was like, oh, no, no, there's nothing wrong with this. But she said it in like a Chinese voice. Oh, no, 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 and nothing she, wrong, nothing wrong. She was like, yeah, that's Jamaican, but... Nothing wrong, no, that's Who is it, Miss Cleo? That happened. Uh, there was some something underneath the table that was concerning. I can't really remember what that was. If it's not me picking on a retarded kid, it's me talking shit about fucking females and YouTube. And I'm just like, yo, she's not gonna wanna talk to me, bro. Like, legit. She, she ain't gonna want nothing to do with my so ass. So why, why did you show this girl your video reel, your highlight reel then to impress because her? I figured, you know, I, 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 it's not like I like to brag or like fucking certain people. You, you, you might as well know what I'm fucking about. You like you... picking on the retards, boy? <laughs> Bro, if you catfish a motherfucker, he ain't a retard, my nigga. Like, Are you sure a... it wasn't Wiggins who was sending you those filters? <laughs> what, what filters? <laughs> Fuck that, dude. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I, Wiggins I'm... Revenge. Bro, I only... Dude, dude I think it was Wiggins. Like I wish great it would movie be title. Wiggins, bro. I'd be like, I say no more, bro. I'm about to fuck your moms, because I already know I got that power. Oh. Oh man. I fuck Wiggins. Mama, Father man. of Wiggins. Hell no. <laughs> fuck that, bro. So, weren't you two just talking about how like trying to be a stepdad to somebody is weird and kind of kind of strange? No. Uh, if you if you don't have kids, if you don't have kids like from your previous relationship, then yeah. uh, that's going to be weird on your part. Oh, but like if you have kids yourself and you cuz like most dudes who have kids, they're just like Dude, dog, you can't you just threw it container of alcohol out the window. That's great. You're back to the environment. Oh, okay. boy. Yeah. Okay, we'll be all right. But anyways, like, it's one thing if, like, you have kids yourself, but, like, I feel like dudes without kids that are dating people, like, females with kids have, like, so much more to deal with, bro, and it's, like, shit they're not even used to. Like, kids are great, don't get me wrong, if they're your kids, because you already know. Some of that's coming from the fucking the spouse, and then some of it's coming from you. So hold on, okay, but I agree with you somewhat, but at the same time, I also think for the kids' sake, it's probably not great that they don't have a male figure around. No, that's, you see, that's the problem. Most people think a relationship's done. Okay, I don't have to see my fucking, no. The kid's part of you, bro. That kid was chilling longer in you than it was the mom, if you think about it, because like, that nigga was chilling in your nutsack for a grip before it, it went into your mom, got her pregnant, and then fucked your life up. I'm not saying kids fuck lives up, but kids, some kids fuck lives up. Just saying, just saying. But no, it's like, shit, like I told you, bro, when I was talking to you on the phone earlier, mm -hmm. like, like I, I, I could give a damn who the it's fuck he's talking place. to all day. Okay. Like the fact that the those are my kids. Uh, they're running with my last names. Like, I'm gonna make sure my kids are good, bro. Why don't you just murder the guy? Why don't you just murder the guy?